this route. It's tough. This ride started with the mechanical. Just 50 feet from my car, my chain broke. I tried to repair it several times, but the pin wasn't setting right with my multi-tool chain breaker. We'll call it user error, but either way, I drove into town and got a new chain and a real chain breaker. This all meant that I didn't actually start riding till around 10.30, way later than I like to. I headed up the Bells Mountain Trail. It is steep. I'm riding the Silver Susan Loop this weekend. I know this ride isn't easy. Just look at the comments on bikepacking.com. I also did this route a few years ago in two days. Day one destroyed me, but I knew what I was getting myself into. This time around, I'm spending three days, but I plan on doing some fishing, taking pictures, and filming the adventure. So I was mentally prepared for a lot of type two fun entering this trip. Also, the Susan Creek section burned in 2020 in the big hollow fire. The trail just reopened, but I was counting on some overgrown sections and the possibility of blowdowns. I'm so far behind schedule, but this was too good Ooh. to pass up. Fishing opportunity, let's check it out. Given that I was already behind schedule, I indulged myself on day one. I stopped at three different fishing holes. I had success at each one. About 5.30, I'm at Tarbell. Set up camp here. Did not get very far today. Uh, I think between my late start, because my chain breaking and stopping at those fishing holes, um, I just didn't make very many miles. And the miles I did do and the heat just kind of whooped me. So, um, didn't make it very far late in the day and I'm knackered. So, uh, gonna just chill here. And then uh, tomorrow I'll wake up early and get the Silver Star climb out of the way. And uh, yeah, hopefully wind up at Susan Creek where I can do some fishing. So we'll see how it goes. I anticipated day two being the hardest day, and it was. There's a big steep hike -a bike section up Silver Star. I remember the Bluff Mountain Trail section on the backside of Silver Star being really overgrown, rocky, and a bit exposed in some sections. For once, I remembered correctly. You start with this long, steep hike-a-bike section up a rocky terrain leading up to the top of Silver Star. You have incredible panoramic views surrounding you. Eventually, you'll head down the Bluff Mountain Trail. Well, I wasn't paying enough attention back there and I took this trail called Ed's Trail, and uh, this is what it looks like. Ooh, it's nice to go up these switchbacks right here. It's super steep. That's where it came from. 
thinking I may want to just turn around because this looks like it's going to be hard to push up. Just taking a quick break. I think I'm through the worst of it uh, as far as the kind of gnarlier section. Uh, after you branch off from Silver Star, it just gets pretty rocky and the trail's overgrown and there's a little bit of exposure. So it's not a place that you'd want to mess up. And uh, it just kind of demands your full attention, you know, as you're riding down it. Because uh, it's not super technical, but it's enough that it's got your attention. So anyway, I'm just kind of chilling here right now for a minute, enjoying the views of Silver Star. I didn't remember it all correctly. I wasn't through the worst of it. The overgrown sections here were worse than I remembered. Maybe that's because they were more overgrown this time around. This is the most overgrown section yet. Holy mackerel. After the Bluff Mountain Trail, we get on some double track where you can actually start making a dent in the miles. Oh, that probably doesn't look bad. On camera, it looks pretty bad from here. That is called Cougar Rock. I accidentally rode right past the Susan Creek entrance. This could get ugly. There used to be a sign, but now it's easy to miss because no sign and a big blowdown. This caused me to backtrack a little bit. I was nervous about what awaited me. What if there were like a hundred blowdowns? So cool. There's a really great campsite. I hope it's open. It does not. I doubt anybody's coming through here, so I bet it is open. But it's uh, perfect, so crossing my fingers, I'm really close. What I didn't really anticipate is how overgrown this section of trail would be. A little overgrown here, eh? Man, this route is tough. Ooh, oh, the nails. probably between 30 and 40 blowdowns, most of which were easy to get over. Alright, I've made it to camp. Check this out. This is just an amazing camp spot. Oh. Fishing hole right there. Fishing hole right there. Stunning. Woo! Oh my gosh, that was a hard day. I've done this route and I forgot how tough it was. Last time I did it in two days too. This time I did it in three and man, it's, uh, it's a lot more overgrown now. Obviously there's a bunch of blowdowns here. So uh, what a tough ride. Uh, but I'm excited to be at camp. <laughs> it's just so pretty. Look at that. Wow. I couldn't ask for a better spot. It's 
So let's just cross our fingers for some fish. I am hungry and I'd love it if I could catch a few trout and cook those up tonight. So let's cross our fingers. I'm gonna clean this place up. Maybe get the tent set up. Or maybe I'll go fish first. I want to fish. All right. I'm so excited. This could turn into disappointment quickly though. So maybe I shouldn't get too excited. Well, I don't think I'm going to catch anything. I've been here for like 25 minutes. No bites. Not seeing anything. So maybe further down the creek. But look at this place. It is just... Stunning. Alright, so it's about 6.50. I just made some dinner. There's no fish. Uh, didn't have any luck catching fish here. Uh, that's okay. Um, I just added some potatoes and mushrooms to some ramen and that'll be fine. Uh, it was a tough day today though. Um, a lot of the trail's really overgrown and this trail just has tons of vert and it has a lot of rocky bits. So there's just a lot of walking and uh, if you do decide to ride it, it's just very demanding mentally. Like you really got to be paying attention because uh, you just don't want to get hurt out here. But overall, it's been a really fun, hard day. Happy to be at camp. And tomorrow's going to be a lot easier. And uh, I'm still holding out for maybe catching some fish tomorrow. And maybe I could do like a, a, a catch and cook brunch sort of thing. We'll see. <laughs> um, but I won't hold my breath. So. It's about 7.50. I'm leaving my great little campsite and uh, gonna start riding. Hopefully there's not a bunch of blowdowns today. We'll see. Today's supposed to be the easy day. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I started day three really nervous about more blowdowns. Blowdown. This one's gonna be fun. I think going under is going to be tricky, but let's give it a shot. Yeah, I could do that. Well, based on how the day's going so far, this could be another challenging day. Uh, a lot of blowdowns. I probably passed about, I don't know, a dozen or so. I haven't gone very far and some of them are easy. Some of them are a little bit more tricky. This one looks like it's gonna be a little bit more tricky. Oh boy. Oh. Oh, easy 
peasy. Yes, crushing the miles. All right, looking ahead of me, there's a tree or a log. It looks like it was freshly cut. So I'm hoping that means that the maintenance has extended up to this point and maybe I won't have any more blowdowns. <laughs> Even though the section got burned, it's still indescribably beautiful. None of the footage of Susan Creek area do it justice. Alright, this is a cool little fishing hole, but I think I need to move on. Hit the tarmac. Woo! Just a little bit more uphill today. And then I'm gonna be cruising downhill. One o'clock, made it back to the car. All right, I'm all loaded up. Man, in retrospect, that was a really fun ride. Super hard, but uh, a lot of fun, a lot of type two fun, um, and really rewarding. Super pretty, all, every day, just super pretty. So, uh, you know, I'm not necessarily recommending it in the condition that it's in, but overall, I had a great time.